One of the things that make big smart money traders like hedge funds successful in the markets is knowing the flow of money. There are even indicators specifically dedicated to tracking the flow of money in the markets. Indicators such as the money flow index, which probably leads you to wonder. What exactly is money flow and why is it so important? Well, money flow is basically the flow of money in the markets. This basically means the net amount of capital moving in and out of a financial asset, such as stocks, commodities, or currencies over a specific period of time. Money flow is important in technical analysis because it helps traders evaluate the strength of buying or selling pressure in the market. By analyzing the flow of money in the markets, traders can identify potential trend reversals or even identify the beginnings of bullish and bearish trends. Now, you may be asking yourself, but how do we identify money flow in the first place? Well, there are several technical analysis indicators that we can use to identify money flow in the markets. As mentioned earlier, the money flow index is a great candidate for this job. But in this video, we're going to use another indicator that has more features than the money flow index, an indicator called price volume trend or PVT for short. To add it to your chart, you're going to go to your favorite chart platform. I use TradingView. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Then click on indicators, type in price volume trend and select this one by Evergate. Now for this video, we're going to do this strategy on the 15 minute time frame of GBP JPY, but you don't have to stick to this because this strategy will work on any time frame and on any security that you like to trade. Now this indicator is made up of several different components. This thick line that you see right here, this one is called the PVT line and it's the main feature of this indicator. When it rises or is moving upwards like this, it indicates that the buying pressure of a particular trading asset is higher than the selling pressure. In terms of money flow, this basically means that the majority of the money flowing into this asset is used to buy the asset instead of short selling it, causing for the price to trend upwards. On the other hand, when the PVT line is moving downwards like this, it indicates that the selling pressure of that particular trading asset is higher than the buying pressure. In terms of money flow, this basically means that the majority of the money flowing into this asset is used to short sell the asset instead of buying it, causing for the price to trend downwards. Now, based on this, I think it's a good idea to take long trades as soon as the PVT line starts going upwards and to take short trades as soon as the PVT line starts going downwards. But how exactly would you detect the beginning of this upward move or the beginning of this downward move? Well, that's where the signal line comes into play. The signal line is this thin line right here and it's a 21 period simple moving average. When the PVT line crosses above the signal line, that indicates that the buying pressure in the market is now higher than the selling pressure and therefore the beginning of a bullish trend. It is also the place where you should be looking to take long trades. Now what happens when the PVT line crosses below the signal line? Well, I'm gonna tell you just after introducing the sponsor of this video, Henko Trade. I use them on a daily basis. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly scalp gold. And up here, you can see that it's a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is the lowest it can go. And for those of you that love high leverage, guess what? Henko Trade offers up to 500x leverage. And if that's not enough, they're also going to give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $500, they're going to give you a bonus of $500 so you'll have $1,000 to trade with. To access the bonus as well as all the other perks, sign up to Hango Trade using the link in the video description. Back to the video. Now, when the PVT line crosses below the signal line, that indicates that the selling pressure in the market is now higher than the buying pressure and therefore the beginning of a bearish trend. It is also the perfect place to start taking short trades. Last but not least, we have the plot's background, which is just a color filling for the space between the PVT line and the signal line. When the PVT line crosses above the signal line, the background color changes to green and when the PVT line crosses below the signal line, the background color changes to red. 
Double click on the indicator to access the settings panel. Then on the style tab, increase the plot's background color opacity to 100%. And then click OK. We're going to be using this indicator as a buy sell entry signal. When this background turns from red to green, we buy. And when it turns from green to red, we sell. Now let's add a trend confirmation indicator as well as a volume confirmation indicator to complete our trading strategy. On the indicators tab, type in EMA Cloud and select this one by JRL. Next, type in Relative Volatility and select this one by Verifid. Double click on the EMA Cloud to access the settings and on the inputs tab, change the length of these EMAs to 50, 100 and 200. On the style tab, make the following changes exactly like I'm doing right now. And then click OK. Next, double click on the relative volatility indicator. On the style tab, uncheck these three filter options. And then click OK. Now we're going to be using these three EMAs as our overall trend confirmation indicators. The relative volatility indicator is going to be used to identify market volatility and to make sure it is high enough to push the price in the direction of our trades. Now, how do we trade using this strategy? Well, to take a long trade, these are the conditions. First, these three EMAs should be aligned in such a way that the green one is at the bottom, the yellow one in the center, and the blue one at the top. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, this trend ribbon of the PVT indicator should change color from green to red and then from red to green. A color change from green to red indicates an increase in selling pressure which then gets overpowered by the buying pressure, indicated by the ribbon turning back to green. So the idea is you basically want to enter a long trade after the selling pressure has been overpowered by the buying pressure. The third condition is that when the trend ribbon is changing color from green to red and then from red to green, the price candles should not touch this blue EMA. The goal of having the price candles above the EMAs during the color change is to prevent you from trading in a ranging market. Lastly, the most recent bar of the volatility indicator should be colored green to indicate the presence of bullish volatility in the market. It should also close above this blue filter zone as well as above this white moving average. This indicates the presence of enough bullish volume in the market to push the price in the direction of our trade. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're going to enter a long trade here. The stop loss is going to be set below the most recent swing low. And for the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2. We let the trade run and take profit. For short trades, we're going to reverse the first three conditions. First, these three EMAs should be aligned in such a way that the green one is at the top, the yellow one in the center, and the blue one is at the bottom. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, this trend ribbon of the PVT indicator should change color from red to green and then from green to red. A color change from red to green indicates an increase in buying pressure which then gets overpowered by the selling pressure indicated by the ribbon turning back to red. So the idea is you basically want to enter a short trade after the buying pressure has been overpowered by the selling pressure. The third condition is that when this ribbon is turning from red to green and then from green to red, the price candles should not touch this blue EMA. The goal of having the price candles below the EMAs during the color change is to prevent you from trading in a ranging market. Lastly, the most recent bar of the volatility indicator should be colored red to indicate the presence of bearish volatility in the market. It should also close above this blue filter zone as well as above this white moving average. This indicates the presence of enough bearish volume in the market to push the price in the direction of our trade. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're going to enter a short trade. The stop loss is going to be set above the most recent swing high. And for the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2. We let this trade run and take profit. The PVT indicator is a great tool for identifying the direction of money flow in the market. 
by using it as a buy sell indicator were able to jump in the market and trade only in the direction of market momentum. This is just one of the many strategies that you can do using the PVT indicator. The strategy shown in this video is not meant to be traded blindly. Remember to do extensive backtesting and forward testing and customize it by adding things like price action to make this strategy even better. That's been it for this video, hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.